Hi, this is Robin from Handsoft. In this video, I will give you a few tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Handsoft as a main manager in a project. I will talk about the user roles we have and how to empower your team, setting up default values and other column hacks, and how to simplify workflows. To start off, let me just quickly go through the different roles that we have in Handsoft. You can be a Handsoft administrator, the user that will see the admin tab to create users, projects and control permissions. The Handsoft administrator can, for instance, set who the main manager is for each project. As a main manager, you have complete access to your project. You can, for example, set up columns, control all project settings, and create workflows and pipelines. Regular users are members of a project, but must be members of a sprint or have work delegated to them to be able to edit any items. They can create reports, dashboards, etc. like anyone else though. In addition, we have a few special cases such as regular users with limited visibility, system administrators, QA and ghost users, but the three previously mentioned ones are the main roles. As a main manager, it is important to keep in mind that many of the changes we will show you in this video will affect all users in the project. If you are in a new project, your first action should be to include the team. From the More menu, you can choose Add or Remove Users to Project, and choose the users or group that you want to include. If you want your team members to be able to work in a part of the product backlog, you can now delegate a part of the backlog or plan to them. Now this user will be able to work and change this and all items under it in the hierarchy. He or she will also be able to delegate on the level underneath the, uh, to other users if needed. Try to delegate as much as you can so that the ownership is clear and that you realize the value of Handsoft as a collaboration tool where you all work together to keep the plan relevant and up to date. Let's move over to talk about some concrete things that you as a main manager can do in a project but not any other types of users. One of our most popular features is the ability to customize the project columns. However, Many people miss the advanced settings for these columns, so I want to show you a few of those. Let's start by providing a tooltip to this new column. You can type anything here and it will show up when you hover over the column. We recommend that you enter a brief explanation of the usage, and you might also want to write or who to talk to if anyone has any questions about it. Now, if we hover over the column, we will see the tooltip showing up. Many columns can have a default value rather than just being empty. A common example is that you want the user story field to have a pre-populated template so that people don't forget to, for example, enter the business value. So let's add that to the user story field. Now, every time I create a new item and flag it as a user story, it will now have this value. Another example could be that you have a type or tag column that should instead inherit the value from another item. This is a setting you also control from the Advanced tab. In Handsoft, you can set it up so that it can inherit either from the column right above, such as this column for Team, or you can also set it up so that it inherits from the parent item, the item that, that is higher up in the hierarchy. Here is an example, Area, that depends on which part of the hierarchy the item is in. Now let's move over to another column, the Product Backlog Priority. This is a default column, so you are not able to edit it. However, as a main manager, you can create your own priority column. Many customers prefer to prioritize using the Moscow method, where each feature can be given the tag must have, should have, could have, and won't have. 
I am creating a column of type drop list single choice, as this is the only column type allowed for priorities. The order of these choices are very important. Higher up means higher priority. Now I have my column that I want to use. In the Agile and Scheduling section, I can now change it so that this column becomes the priority column. We can now use the priority view to set our priorities according to the Moscow method with drag and drop. Main managers are controlling the processes. If you're using workflows, they will change the status column of the item. However, it might be unnecessary to have both the default statuses, not done, in progress, etc., as well as the workflow status. So, in the workflow editor, you can choose to hide the default status. However, when you do this, keep in mind that you should also map the workflow status to the default statuses. Otherwise, it will be difficult to understand on a higher level if you, for example, in a dashboard want to aggregate across multiple projects. Now, let's save and take a look at our workflow again. See, this has been made much more simple now. Okay, so that was a few tricks that you can use as a main manager in Handsoft. You are now one step closer to becoming an epic Handsoft ninja. Please reach out to us at support at handsoft.com with your tips, tricks and feedback on how we can make your life easier.